Hey guys, I picked up this new Schwemann RG6 module a couple weeks ago and I thought I'd create a quick demo to show you some of the capabilities of this random generator. It's a pretty interesting module and you'll find other demos of the module on the internet, but the demos really don't describe the features and capabilities of this particular module. So I thought I'd spend some time doing that today. So let's start out with the outputs on the module. The, the outputs on the module are outlined by the, the black boxes. So all of these jacks here are outputs. And starting from the left side of the module, the first three outputs are labeled the random spread probability outputs. One is low, the middle one is normal, and the third one, which I'm currently plugged into, is labeled high. These are basically standard sample and hold type outputs. But what's unique is that each output has a different range of tones that are being generated from the output. So the, the high output has the greatest range of tones, whereas the low output has the lowest range of tones. And there are tones coming out of each output, um, really control voltages coming out of each output simultaneously so you could you could connect these outputs to various elements within your modular simultaneously let's listen to the output uh, from the high and i'll also switch it to the normal and the low just so you can see the difference So you can tell that there's a definite difference in range that's being generated by each one of those outputs. The, the fourth output, the one right in the middle here that has a blinking LED above it is the clock output. The module has its own internal clock. You can manually control the clock rate using the, this knob here in the upper left corner that's labeled clock rate. So I can speed that clock rate up and down. I can also control it using a control voltage in the clock rate input on the bottom as well. There's also a clock sync input. So you could do something like sending a square LFO wave into the clock sync and this module will sync up to it. It's a good way if you want to sync it to a, a sequencer module or another clock in your system, you could you could easily sync this module up to it as well. The, the next two outputs are labeled the random saw outputs. And what's kind of interesting is that th there's a negative saw output and it's a standard positive saw output. So there's there's both types of saw outputs available and these are these are random saw outputs and my understanding is that that's fairly unusual for a, a module of this type and we'll take a listen to those uh, here in a little bit the the last output is a gate output so the internal clock signal is being used to generate that gate signal uh, it's doing that using uh, a couple of different modulators. First of all, the, the, the gate output is derived from that internal clock signal. And there's also another internal signal. There's really an internal noise signal as well. I'm not sure what kind of noise signal it is, but my guess is maybe some sort of white noise. 
because you notice I don't have anything plugged into this module. So there's no inputs, there's just simply outputs, and yet it's able to, to gener generate these sample and hold type tones. So there's an internal noise generator. And what's happening is that the module is sampling that internal noise generator, and you can control the sampling level using this knob right here. And it's sampling that internal noise level, and then when a, when a, a sample is over a certain th threshold, which you can control. If the sample is over that threshold, then it generates a gate signal. And this, this knob right here is used to control that, that threshold above which that, that sampled signal must rise. You can control the, uh, the, the threshold, that gate threshold, using an input, you can also, if you don't want to use that internal noise generator, you can also provide your own external signal right here on the bottom left-hand corner. So you've got a lot of different options there. Once that, that sample is signaled, and is, if it's above a certain threshold, a gate is generated, and you can control the length of that gate as well. So let's take a listen as, as, I, as I change some of these settings just so you can hear the, uh, the differences. So you could see as I changed the clock rate that the the clock signal would increase in rate or decrease in rate. You could also see that changing the threshold made the gates a little bit slower, uh, increased the duration between the gates. Uh, changing the length also lengthened the gate as well, so there's more of a sustained type of gate signal. Let me show you some of the random saws here. So I'll, I'll plug into maybe the positive saw. You can change the slope of that saw signal using this knob up here. You can adjust, uh, you can also change the slope via CV input, and there's also a corresponding CV level for that slope signal. I also know there's also a rate CV level as well, so if you provide a clock rate, then you can adjust the, the CV level manually. Uh, I also forgot to mention that on these sample and hold signals, these pulses basically, you can change the slew rate on all those signals. And there's also a slew rate input and a manual CV level for that, that slew rate as well. So lots of different possibilities there. It's a really unique module. I've had fun really experimenting with it. I've only used it now for a couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm really just scratching the surface of this particular module. It's got all other, uh, all kinds of interesting capabilities, like the clock rate here. You can switch it between a, a, um, an LFO type load, a low frequency signal, or you can even send it into audio rate. So let's listen to that. <laughs> And you can do all kinds of interesting things because this, this thing is outputting all of these random signals simultaneously. So 
you're, it's outputting random gates, random saws, uh, random signal and hold. You could provide your own external signal. You can actually manipulate the clock rate. And so you could send an LFO to that clock and let the clock speed up and slow down. You could send uh, a random source to that clock and randomize the clock signal. So to, in to sort of increase the level of ram randomness that's generated by this module. So all in all, a very interesting module. And I really look forward to experimenting with it more in the future. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.